Okay, we're looking at number five and they say, you know, X and Y are positive numbers, and which is good because they're log problems over here. So log base Y of X plus log base X of Y is 10 thirds. Find the product, X, oh, I'm sorry, and the product X, Y is 144. Evaluate X plus Y over two. So what I'd like to do is just look at it and see if I can figure out how to do that. And there's many dead ends you could take, by the way. I'm not saying that, you know, the, the road you take at first can be the right road. You, you figure it out over time. So let's, let's write down what we're given. I'm given a couple of facts about this. I'm given that X and Y are positive. That's one fact I'm giving. I'm given log base Y of X plus log base X of Y is equal to 10 thirds. All right, these are things that I've been given. And I've been given is the product of X and Y is equal to 144. And you might say, what have been asked for? Well, if you're given those three things, you just simply ask for X plus Y over two. I don't know what that is, by the way, looking at this. So what I want to do is I want to, you know, possibly get this, you know, it looks really tough to, to you know, maybe use base change forms. I don't know, maybe that, that'll work, but I'm looking at this thing and I'm making a substitution. And I want to say I'm going to let U equal and I'm going to let u equal, let's write this down. So log base y of x. And I really don't like logs, by the way. So I'm going to rewrite this a little differently. I'm going to write this in exponential. I'm going to say y to the u is equal to x. All right? y to the u is equal to x. And let me see what I'm going to do now. y to the u is equal to x. And let me see if I can do something else with that. Let me think. Let me look at the other guy. And it looks like the guy, maybe I could do something with that. I mean, I think I can. And the reason, you know, someone said, what'd you just do over here? I just did this thing here. But then I'm looking at this thing over here, and it doesn't really look like that, but I think I could get it to look like that. And I'll write that down for you. So I'm going to write down log base x of this y to the u would equal log base x, let me put this in parentheses, of x. Well, I certainly know what the right side is, 1. And the left side, I get u times log base x, y. So I have this business. And then I'm looking at this over here, and I have log base x of y is 1 over u. And so I have this thing too now. And let me write that down for you. So what do I get? Log base y of x is u. And log base x of y is 1 over u. And was that equal to 10 thirds? Now someone says, what would you just do over there? You know, not much, right? Not much. But I can solve this equation. And what do you get? I'm going to multiply both sides by 3u. You get 3u squared plus 3 equals 10u. 3u squared minus 10u plus 3 is equal to zero. I'm trying to solve for u, by the way. And what do you get over here? Three u, u, zero, three, one, minus, minus. Let me see if it works, by the way. Three u squared, you get that. Minus nine minus one is minus 10, plus three, yeah, looks okay. What do you get over here? u equals one third, or u is equal to three. Okay, what do you do now? I don't know. I guess you go back and try to figure it out. So let's take a look at that. And I'm told that x times y is 144. I'm given this log equation over here. And let's write that down, all right? So I'm going to say log base x, y. Let's just pick this one first. What are you going to get? You're going to get one third. And then I'll do the other equation. What's the other one going to be? Log base y of x 
is equal to u, which is just 3. Now, sometimes if I did the one-third, you know, what would you get there? I'll put that down for you. If I did that, I'll write that down for you. You get log base x of y would be 3, and log base <coughs> y of x would be one-third. So it looks like I'm getting almost the same thing. Good symmetry over here. Then I, I got to figure out what to do about that. All right? So I'll write this down, and I'll write them separately for you. And I'll write this one over here. This means y equals x to the one-third power, which is the cube root of x. And if I did the second equation, what would I get? I'd get x equals y cubed. Well, you know what? They had the same meaning to me. Right? If you look at that, you know, x equals y cubed, same thing as saying y equals a cube root of x. Let's put the other one down. I'll do this one over here. I'm trying to figure this out. So this one says y equals x cubed. And the second one says x equals the cube root of y. And they're saying the same things, by the way. All right? So I got some symmetry over here. And I'm, I'm kind of concerned about this. But I'll be honest with you, I got some information over here that I want to kind of use. And the information I want to use is this information over here, that x times y is 144. So I'm going to write that down, x times y. So let's take a look. x times y is 144. Right, this is something I've been told, right? So, what would that be, x times y? Let's take a look. x times y is 144. So, y is really the cube root of x, right? And then I get x over here, and that equals 144. All right, let's take a look at that. And what would I get there? You'd get x, well, it's 1 plus 1 third, which is 3 thirds plus 1 thirds is 4 thirds, equals 144. So I can say x equals 144 to the 3 quarters. All right, looks pretty tough, doesn't it? Let's write this over here, x equals... I'm going to put 144 down for you. It's an, it's an interesting number. 2, 72, 2, 36, 2, 18, 2, 9. So really what am I getting over here? I'm really getting 2 to the 4th power and 3 squared. All right? Let me write that down for you. 2 to the 4th power. 2 to the 4th power is 2 times 2 is 4, 8, 16. And 16 times 9 is 144. And that's going to be the three quarters, all right? And use the rules of exponents. You can get two cubed times three. And that's going to be to the, uh, let's see, two times three quarters is three halves, all right? Wow, that looks like a tough one, doesn't it? Let's take a look at that. X equals eight. And I would get the, um, that's three halves is one and a half, so it's going to be three, and then root three. All right. What do you get there? X equals 24 root three. All right, that's not so bad. I got this. Now, the question is, what's Y? Well, you know what? I go back up here, and I think I could probably figure it out. Let's write this down. So x times y is 144. So x is 24, root 3, and I got the y, and I got 144. So let's write this down. y would be 144 divided by 24, root 3. All right, let's divide through. All right, and it, it doesn't look that bad because I, I realize that 144 it has an 8 in it. It has a 24 in it, by the way. How do I know that? 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, and then a 3 from over here. So it's really 24 times 6. And you'd have 24 root 3. And the, these cancel off. I can multiply top and bottom by root 3. And what's y going to be equal to? Well, it's going to be 6 root 3 over 3, which is 2 root 3s. I'll write that down for you. 
Now, by the way, if you want to play around with the other ones, you can. You're going to get the same values, by the way. Uh, what I mean by that, those two values, 24 root 3 and 2 root 3. But that's not their question. What's their question going to be? Let's go back to it. I think their question was this. What's x plus y over 2? Well, let me write that down for you. 24 root 3 plus 2 root 3 over 2, which is 26 root 3 over 2, which is 13 root 3s. And that's the final answer, 13 root 3s. Thank you.